iPhone 7 ear speaker replacement guide. The tools we're going to need are a proprietary Pentalope screwdriver, a Phillips head double zero or a triple zero screwdriver, a Y tip double or triple zero screwdriver. A suction cup for pulling the screen apart as well as a plastic pick for prying the screen apart. A metallic prying tool for removing the adhesive that waterproofs the phone around the contour of the screen. And a plastic spudger for pulling the connections apart. Make sure to turn off the iPhone before we begin. Now place the suction cup right above the home button. The screen will need to be slid down first and then flipped open like a book. We'll close it like a book and slide it back in when we're done. Locate the two pentalope screws near the charging port that are holding the LCD to the phone chassis and go ahead and remove the two screws. Now insert your index finger into the suction cup and pinch the sides of your phone with your middle finger and your thumb. Then gently tug on your index finger. This will create a small crack. Now a little to the left of the home button, go ahead and slide in the plastic pick and start prying it apart. You might have some adhesive, waterproof adhesive that makes it difficult to separate, go ahead and use the uh, metallic prying tool to separate the adhesive. In combination with the plastic tool, go ahead and start prying the LCD away from the phone. Once you get it going, go ahead and slide it down first and then open it up just like a book and that's it we're in now let's disconnect the LCD and the front facing camera for the LCD and the digitizer we're going to need the Y double or triple zero screwdriver it, the shield is secured with four uh, Y tip screws go ahead and remove those screws With those four screws removed, we can go ahead and lift up the shield and this will expose the two ribbon cable connections. Now with the plastic prying tool, go ahead and get underneath the ribbon cable and pop it out. Here we pop out both cables at the same time. Go ahead and fold the screen over like you see here now we're gonna move the two Phillips head screws that are securing the shield that protects the ribbon cable that connects the camera to the phone go ahead and remove those two Phillips head screws and remove the shield this will expose the uh, camera ribbon cable connection and just pry it out with your plastic tool there we go the screen is now loose okay let's remove the shield that guards the ear speaker and the camera go ahead and remove the three Phillips head screws that you see here first With those three, three screws removed, you can go ahead and lift up the shield and move it over to the side. Now let's remove the two Phillips head screws that are securing the ear speaker. Go ahead and remove the two Phillips head screws. Peel back the camera. 
and the speaker should come right out. Here's what it looks like up close. Reassembly. Make sure to align the speaker connection springs with the um, dots that you see on the camera cable. Go ahead and place the speaker in the following orientation and resecure it with the two uh, Phillips head screws. Go ahead and fold the camera over and tuck it into its socket. Now we can place the shield over the speaker and the camera and resecure it with the three Phillips head screws. If you get the three Phillips head screws mixed up, just remember the longer one is the one that goes in the middle. This screen is now assembled and ready to get reconnected. Align the screen with the phone in a book-like orientation. Start off with reconnecting the camera and uh, speaker ribbon cable first. Go ahead and align it in the following orientation. It's going to loop awkwardly, uh, but that's how it goes right there. Go ahead and click that into its socket. Now fold the screen over and place it on the side. Now place the ribbon cable uh, shield over the ribbon cable and secure it with the two Phillips head screws. The screws are identical size so it shouldn't be a problem. Now go ahead and fold the uh, screen back over to a book like orientation and tuck in the two ribbon cables for the digitizer and the LCD. Make sure that they click in firmly and then you have a nice solid connection. Now go ahead and place the LCD shield cover over it and secure it with the four Y uh, screws. Okay, we're now ready to clamp up the phone. Go ahead and fold it and begin by tucking in the top latches in first. Once those are locked in, we can go ahead and go gently around the contour of the phone, pushing it in and finishing up the clamp. If you feel any resistance, make sure to reseat the screen. Now go around the contour, make sure that it's a nice and solid lock and there are no gaps in between. Now go ahead and place the two pentalobe screws into their sockets and just place them in first, align them and then secure them with the pentalobe screwdriver. With the pentalobe screw secure, go ahead and power on and test the phone. This concludes this tutorial. Thank you for watching. Hit like and subscribe and check out more awesome videos at AppleDollars.com.